A Y or triangular junction, in rail terminology, is a triangular-shaped arrangement of rail tracks with a switch or set of points at each corner. In mainline railroads, this can be used at a rail junction, where two rail lines join, in order to allow trains to pass from one line to the other line. Ys can also be used for turning railway equipment. By performing the railway equivalent of a three-point turn, the direction of a locomotive or railway vehicle can be swapped around, leaving it facing in the direction from which it came. Where a Y is built specifically for turning purposes, one or more of the tracks making up the junction will typically be a stop siding. Tram or streetcar tracks also make use of triangular junctions and sometimes have a short triangle or Y stops to turn the car at the end of the line. Considerations Equals at junctions equals the use of triangular junctions allows flexibility in routing trains from any line to any other line, without the need to reverse the train. For this reason they are common across most rail networks. Slower bidirectional trains may enter a Y, letting a faster one pass, and continue on the same direction providing service to nearby freight transport or a passenger station. Where one or more of the lines meeting at the junction are multi-track. The presence of a triangular junction does introduce a number of potential conflicting moves. For this reason, where traffic is heavy, the junction may incorporate flying junctions on some, or all, or the legs of the triangle. Equals for turning equipment equals. From time to time it is necessary to turn both individual pieces of railroad equipment or hold trains. This may be because the piece of equipment is not directionally symmetrical. For example in the case of most steam locomotives and, in certain parts of the world, diesel locomotives, or where the train needs to run a particular direction, for example where it has dedicated tail and cars such as an observation car. Even where equipment is symmetrical, periodic turning may still be necessary in order to even wear. There are several different techniques that can be used to achieve such turning. Rail turntables require the least space but can generally only deal with a single piece of equipment at a time. Balloon or turning loops can turn trains of any length a euro up to the total length of the loop a euro in a single operation, but require far more space than Ys. Rail Ys can be constructed on sites where a loop would not be possible, and can turn trains up to the length of the stub tracks at the end of the Y. Railroad systems in North America and Australia have tended to have more Ys than railroads elsewhere. North American locomotives and cars are more likely to be directional than those found on other continents. In Canada and the United States, the railroad often was built before other structures, and railway builders had much more freedom to lay down tracks where they wished. Australia has a large amount of open space, and similarly at many rural railway locations in Australia triangles were used as an alternative to turntables for reasons of space availability and cost saving. In Europe, although some use was made of bidirectional tank locomotives and push-pull trains, most steam locomotives were unidirectional. Because of land usage considerations, turntables were normally used to turn such locomotives, and most terminal stations and locomotive depots were so equipped. Over time, most diesel and electric locomotives ordered in Europe have been designed to be fully bidirectional, symmetrical, and normally with two driving cabs. Thus most turntables and, where they existed, railways, have been taken out of use. Equals streetcar or tram systems equals, similar considerations aptly to the use of triangular junctions and reversing Ys on streetcar and tram systems, as apply to mainline rail systems. Many, although by no means all, streetcar and tram systems use single-ended vehicles that have doors on one side only, and that must be turned at each end of the route. However the vehicles used on such systems tend to have much smaller minimum curvature requirements than heavy rail equipment. This renders the use of a balloon loop more practical in a small amount of space, and with street running vehicles such a loop can make use of side streets or street squares. However, although turning loops are the most common way of turning such vehicles, Y tracks are also sometimes used. Equals disadvantages equals a triangle has a disadvantage if a train by taking the triangle bypasses a main station. This happened at Cootamundra West, Australia and Tekasai, 
Romania where an extra passenger station had to be built to serve trains taking the shortcut. Woodville Railway Station, New Zealand avoids this problem by building a balloon loop so that trains can serve the main station in either direction without the need to reverse. Equals land usage equals, the land within a triangle is cut off from the adjacent area and has marginal value mainly for railway users such as maintenance depots. The triangular shape tends to be unsuited for rectangular buildings. On electrified lines substations tend to be located inside triangles, in part because the land is cheap, and also because it provides the most convenient and flexible sectioning arrangements. Indeed Sefton Triangle contains such a substation. Because it is difficult to see approaching trains, the Sefton Triangle depot has a level crossing protected by flashing lights. Earliest examples, the earliest British example is the double-track triangle within Ayles Town Railway Station on the Liverpool and Manchester Railway, which was completed by the Grand Junction Railway in 1837. The triangle has two passenger platform faces on each of its three sides and five of the six platforms are in frequent use by passenger trains. When steam engines were in regular use the triangle was also used to turn locomotives and can still be so used. There is an example on the Cromford and High Peak Railway, which was opened in 1831 as a horse-drawn railway, which may be earlier. This appears to have been used for reversing trains of wagons with end doors that have just come up the rope hauled inclines to the highest level of the railway before they proceeded down the remaining inclines. The site of this can still be seen near Hindlow, in Derbyshire, SK093685. Examples by country or region equals United Kingdom equals. In Britain triangular layouts that could be used for turning locomotives were usually the result of junctions of two or more lines. There are many examples, including the one known as the Main D Triangle in Newport, South Wales. Here the XGWR South Wales main line from London to Swansea is joined by another GWR line from Shrewsbury via Hereford. The significance of it is that steam haul trains can run to Newport and their engines be turned using the triangle. Its OS National Grid location is grid reference ST316887. Shrewsbury also has a triangular route formation that was used to turn steam locomotives, and is still available. A triangle, grid reference SH294789, was provided in 1989 adjacent to the transfer sidings for Walfer Nuclear Power Station, near to Valley on Anglesey in Wales. This enables the North Wales coastline to be used by steam hauled excursions. The turntable at Hollyhead has long been removed and the area redeveloped and the sidings at Valley some four miles from the terminus are the nearest suitable site. An unusual arrangement, unique in Britain, was constructed at Grantham. Its location was grid reference SK914349 and it is shown on the 1963 edition of OS 1 inch to 1 mile sheet 113. It was built in the 1950s after the turntable at the locomotive shed failed and expenditure on a replacement was no longer justified. Locomotives requiring to be turned had to travel to Barkston Junction to traverse the triangular layout there. The journey to Barkston Junction and back was a time-consuming business involving a round trip of some eight miles along the busy East Coast main line. Eventually authority was given to construct a turning arrangement on a strip of spare land to the west of the main line, just south of Grantham Station. There was insufficient space for a conventional triangle but this was overcome by constructing an inside-out triangle whereby the approach tracks intersected in a scissors crossing. In Belfast, Northern Ireland, a triangular junction exists at Great Victoria Street Station. It is rarely used to turn locomotives save the occasional steam engine. Usually, it is used by Enterprise Express trains to bypass Great Victoria Street and continue on and terminate at Belfast Central. Commuter trains enter the junction from one direction, stop at Great Victoria Street, and then continue out on the other direction towards Bangor Station. Commuter trains on NI railways are all diesel multiple unit rail cars, so they do not need to use the junction as a turning method equals North America equals, many North American passenger terminals in large cities had Y tracks to allow the turning and backing of directional passenger trains onto a main line. Freight traffic could bypass the terminal through the Y. 
Notable examples include the Los Angeles Union Passenger Terminal, which has a double Y, the St. Paul Union Depot, and the Memphis Union Station. A typical use for a stub end passenger station would be as follows. AY was incorporated at the throat where the rows of tracks converged from the station. It facilitated the turning of trains. Each arriving train passed the Y and came to a stop. Once the switches on the Y are aligned, the train reversed, with the brakeman at the rear of the last car regulating the speed with the brake lever upon approach to the platform and then coming to a complete stop at the end of the track, shutting the air brakes completely. Passengers were then allowed to safely disembark. Meanwhile the locomotives were uncoupled from the train and sent to the engine terminal to be serviced for their next assignment. Then, the head-end cars were uncoupled from the rest of the train and pulled by a station switcher to a parcel facility where express packages were unloaded. The departing train was reassembled, freshly cleaned and serviced for the next journey. A steam pipe from the station's steam generator was attached to the train's steam line from the rear to supply heat until the locomotives were coupled up front to supply steam. The train was announced for boarding with a list of destinations. With switches aligned, the train slowly departed to the main line, rounding the opposite leg from the one it reversed on upon arrival. The train returned to the place it arrived from. The Keddy Y in Keddy, California was built by the Western Pacific Railroad and is a remarkable engineering feat. Two sides of the Y are built on tall trestles and one side is a tunnel bored through solid rock. The town of Wyeville, Wisconsin, is named after the Union Pacific Railway, formerly the Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company Y and crossover nearby. Metro North Railroad maintains a very busy Y at Mott Haven, New York, in the Bronx. New Haven Line and Harlem Line trains use this Y to access the Hudson Line to reach the Yankees a Euro East 153rd Street station. The southern terminus of the Amtrak Auto Train in Sanford, Florida, uses a Y to turn the locomotives around for the trip back north. A road that crosses the eastern side of the Y allows access to the inner part of the Y where a rock supply company now stands. Canada, Toronto Street Car Loops equals Oceania equals Adelaide, South Australia. Sefton Railway Station, Sydney lies on one corner of a triangular junction. The triangle junction allows trains to branch off in either direction, without the need to terminate or change end. One train a day from Byrong to Sefton does terminate and reverse at Regent's Park Station. There is a goods branch from Chalera, and in the future the possibility of a proposed separate single-track freight line. The three passenger stations at the vertices of the triangle have island platforms which make it convenient to change trains. The sharp curves of the triangle and especially the turnouts on those sharp curves restrict train movement speeds to between 10 km per hour and 50 km per hour. Equals Europe equals, there is a turning triangle partly tunneled into the mountain at Kleinskedg at the summit of the 800 mm gauge Wengenaltbahn in the Benise Oberland, Switzerland. Kleinskedg is reached from two lower termini, Lauterbrunnen and Grindelwald, located on opposite sides of the coal trains normally descend in the direction they have arrived from and are designed accordingly with the power unit at the lower end and seating angle to compensate for the gradient. They therefore have to be turned at the summit should it be necessary to make a through journey. Whilst limitations of space dictated that the triangle had to be partly constructed in tunnels it also ensures that in winter it is snow-free and is readily available in emergencies. Equals African equals, Tsum railway station in Namibia has two triangles. The first and smaller one is for turning engines and is near the station. The second and larger one is to bypass the dead-end station at Tsum for trains travelling directly between the new extension towards Angola and Windhoek. This direct bypass line can save 60 minutes shunting time, particularly if the train is longer than the loops in the station. See also Double junction, flying junction, level junction, control car a Euro enables trains to easily run in reverse to obviate the need for a Y, railway turntable and balloon loop a Euro two alternate methods of turning trains or locomotives. References